Thought I'd start today off with a little bit of a throwback to when I first started training. So I've told this story a couple of times. I got into lifting as part of making the freshman basketball team. However, I don't think I've ever really shared this picture outside of Instagram. So this is from the 95-96 season, which would have put me at roughly 14 years old. James W. Robinson Secondary School, which is a very large school, probably about 15 miles outside of DC. So grew up in Virginia. In fact, played high school basketball as well as a little bit of college basketball all in Virginia as well. And now I just make shitty YouTube videos where I talk trash about other people to make myself feel good about myself. But in case you haven't been able to find out which one of these pale white guys I am, let me help you out just a little bit. Yep, there you go. That shy sailor in the back, number 44, is yours truly with a little bit of hair. That was one of the locks were flowing free, my friends. But wearing number 44 at the time only because I really liked John Wallace of Syracuse as well as Keith Van Horn from Utah. And I just really liked the number, so decided to go ahead and rock it for most of my high school and college career as well. Now for this, I wanted to point out the fact that when this picture was taken, I had probably been lifting for literally three or four weeks, and at the time, my max bench press was roughly 115 pounds, which at the time was super discouraging. So 14 years old, 115 pound bench press, I felt awful about myself. And that's not just because of how I looked. It was because there was other people on the team that could bench more. And I always thought of myself as a little bit of a stronger person. And it was really discouraging to not be able to put a 45 on each side and bench. And from that point on, I really kind of focused on my training. And so much so, in fact, that over the years, I got more interested in training than I did in basketball. It probably didn't help that I was a 6'4 white guy with limited ball handling availability outside of the bedroom. But there you go, that's the start. And you might also recognize my friend here, Kevin Kiley, who any wrestling fan might recognize more as Alex Riley. All right, so let's just skip past all the pleasantries and just jump right into that meat prep. Now, this particular video is going to be shorter than I normally like to show you when I prep my meat. But the thing is, is I haven't really been feeling too well the past couple of days. In fact, I'm still a little bit under the weather. I'm not sure what I have, but there's definitely something going around here in the Northeast. And that being the case, I did severely contemplate not going to the gym either for my Thursday squat workout, which you're seeing here, or my Friday bench workout. However, I thought to myself that I'm already pretty deeply involved in this meat prep, and I could probably go in and still hit my main work and be okay. And knowing that I could hit my main work, I decided to just go ahead and do it anyways. Now, if I didn't feel like I'd be able to hit these numbers that I was programmed to, I definitely wouldn't have gone in. But that being the case, I didn't want to add in any more volume or anything extra just to further beat my ass. Just wanted to go in, get it in, and get the hell out of there. I'm sure how many of you guys live your social lives in Tinder and Grindr or whatever the hell you kids are on these days. So what you're watching here is, again, five sets of three at 4.15, and the weight felt extremely heavy. I was exhausted on this particular day. Everything was achy. Chalk it up to not feeling well. Chalk it up to being old. Chalk it up to maybe the fact that I've lost a couple of pounds these last couple of days being sick. I don't know what it is, but just didn't feel good. However, looking at this, I felt like it moved really well. And I was actually pretty happy with this in terms of my form, my depth, and all that other stuff. I am also wearing my Romaleos here. And I think I've just decided to go ahead and stick with these for the rest of my prep. Now I've been experimenting with a bunch of different shoes from my Addy Powers to my Power Lift Trainers to my Power Light TRs. And although my depth on those Power Light TRs have been great, I really attribute that more to the fact that I use those predominantly on my accessory squat day, which is after deadlifts. And I honestly think anything I do after those heavy deadlifts, my squat would look fine. So we'll experiment with that a little bit uh, next week just to make sure, but I really need to make up my mind soon just because I really wanna get more time with whatever shoe I'm going to use in the meet and don't wanna really mix it up because that could potentially throw me off when I do actually compete and maybe squat in a shoe that I haven't got as much work in as I should. On this last set here that you're watching, I really contemplated going for five reps just because I felt I had it in me, but then again, not feeling so well to begin with and not doing any other accessory work, I didn't think that would really be fair. So that brings us on to the next day, bench day, and again, I was feeling a little bit better here, but still not great, so I wanted to just do the main work and get out. So that was going to be 295, for five sets of five, which for me is a volume PR. And I was really cautious at first just because I wasn't sure how this was going to move and the first set here didn't move very well. Add that on top of the fact that my cell phone doesn't want to stay in my pocket and just committed suicide. Luckily this thing does not break ever. 
that I decided to go ahead and throw these safety spotter arms up for the rest of the sets as a precaution just in case. But after that point, what I really told myself in my mind is, move the weight faster. And I know that sounds incredibly stupid, and it is, but literally that first set in my mind, I was thinking, oh, I'm tired, I'm achy, this feels heavy, this is going to be heavy, the weight moved slow. For all the other sets, what I told myself is, basically man up and just push the weight as fast as you can. And I really feel like past that point, all the other sets looked and felt a lot better. So again, a five by five with 295, great for me. Phone committed suicide again, hanging itself by a noose, it figures. I think what I'm probably gonna convince myself is that my phone keeps jumping out of my pocket only because it's so crowded in my pants already from other things that take up all the space that it just doesn't like to be crowded and it's gotta release itself. Or at least that's what I'm gonna tell myself again just to make me feel better because it's all about me these days. Since this video has been so awful, I'll try to leave you with one final tip and that is when I jam my traps and shoulders into the bench, one of the things I try to do is bring my clavicle or upper chest into my chin. So you'll see my chin tucked a lot of times so it gets more like a double chin. But I find this way it helps me elevate my chest, get a little bit of arch, you guys know I don't have much, as well as just stay tighter overall. So hope that helps some of you. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big. Mm -hmm.